So you mean you won't go through with it? I thought I made the consequences perfectly clear. Flying to the princess is not only unethical, it's pointless. Women who've born children know when they're pregnant. They expect their obstetrician to know. How do I explain the misdiagnosis? Anyone can make a mistake. Besides, it's just a brief postponement of the truth. Which could very well put the princess and the baby in danger. I told you, I will assume complete responsibility for Her Highness' safety. Besides, it seems to me your responsibility is to your wife and daughter. You do want to avoid publication of those pictures of you and your naughty little patient, don't you? If I don't cooperate with you, I'm ruined. If I lie to the princess, I'm ruined. Not at all. Do what you're told and you'll be fine. Hello, I hope Zoe. we're not interrupting. It's not too early, we can come back. No, 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 please, come in. Uh, I've been expecting you. Doctor, are you listening to me? I have to go now. I have a patient. Mm. <laughs> well, you two look well. <laughs> Marriage must agree with you. Well, yes, you could say that. As a matter of fact, we have some very exciting news. And we need you to confirm it for us. Do you want to tell me? Oh, no, go ahead. No, you. you go ahead. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a baby. No, no, no. This won't do at all. No, no. You can't come back to haunt me. Not now. Let it be okay. Oh, please, dear God, please just let it be okay. It will be okay, mi amante. I promise to protect you and I always will. You know that. You're safe from Carmen and you're safe from everyone. I want to take care of you. I just want to take, care, take of care of you. Oh, baby, what did you say? I'm sorry. I said I want to take care of you. I want to help you through this thing. But you're making it, so I don't know how. Selena is the source for the Marler woman's book, okay? And Selena is angry at her writer friend. Big time. Big time. And she, she spoke of my son's death. I, I didn't hear it all. If Selena knows anything about Uncle Miguel's death, I guarantee you, I can get it out of her, no problem. No, 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 mijito. No, we must be discreet. Okay. Geraldo. I feel like a ride on the bike, so we... Eh, quiero comer algo. Do you want some company? No, uh, you stay with, uh, Danny. Oh, no, where are you going, Abuela? Oh, she's got to go home and change for the, for the opening. <laughs> what? I must make myself beautiful. What are you talking about? More beautiful than you already are? <laughs> Come on. Go, my son. Attend to your affairs, and let me attend to mine. Where's she really going? What? Think we'd lie to you? Come on. to me, okay? Just listen. Tiny is my friend. Yo. I met him at the place I'm staying, right, Tiny? Yeah. 
He's on his way to Connecticut to join the World Wrestling Federation. It's his lifelong dream, isn't it, Tiny? Yeah. So I thought he'd make a great bouncer for the nightclub. Just what? until he leaves to become famous. I don't, what? So what the hell was he just doing? He was what? What was he doing? Practicing. Practicing. I asked him to uh, show me his moves. But he's a really nice guy, Danny. Your name's Tiny? I'm kinda. He uses Tiny because he hates his real name. Which is what? Shirley. Tiny, I want to talk to May, okay? Yeah. Alone. Oh, yeah, sure. I know what you're thinking. No, I, you know, I don't think you do. But I don't. he is the sweetest guy around. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, and that makes him a good bouncer? How? Please, Danny, please make his dreams come true. You have a, a, a serious investment in helping people. You know that, don't you? Is that so bad? No. You know, when, uh, after Michelle left me, I was just sleepwalking. My only focus was to get this place up and running, and uh, I, I really wasn't enjoying it very much. But uh, you, um, except for this last bit with Tiny, you're, uh, you're making it fun. Thanks. I appreciate it. I gotta get to work. I've got some stuff I need to do. Um, why don't you go tell Tiny that he has the job? You mean it? Yeah. Oh, Danny, you're the greatest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Danny? Huh? When you thought Tiny was attacking me, you were really gonna save me, weren't you? Come on, you think I could live it down if I couldn't take on a guy named Tiny? Trust me, I know that there is a tiny room for error in a home pregnancy test, but I took it twice, and the first one seemed to indicate that I was pregnant, and the second one confirmed it, right? So we thought, who better to confirm this wonderful news than the foremost fertility expert on the island, Dr. Weymouth? <laughs> well, well, as you said, HPTs are not 100% accurate. Now, granted, there are more false negatives than false positives, but still, I would suggest that... I know that, that I'm pregnant, Dr. Weymouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. All this swirls of emotion and, and hormones going off like firecrackers. Quite so. terrifying, actually, and Dr. You've been wonderful and very brave. <laughs> All we need is for you to confirm it so we can start celebrating. Not that we haven't done uh, quite a bit of that already. Well, why don't we run a few tests? I thought you'd never ask. No, could you come with me? Sure. Oh, here, let me help you. Uh, no, no. I've got it. Thank you very much. Well, All right. it's going to be a few minutes, so why don't you stay here and uh, think of a few names. Names? For the baby. Right. Names for the baby. Let's see. <laughs> okay, you made a mistake. You gave Blake names, dates, details from your past. You'd rather have that back. But I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world. You're out of it. Let it go. I know you're right, of course. It's just that night. Then why don't we start writing our own? Romance novel. Hmm. Mm. Thank you for being so patient with me. I was, wasn't I? Pretty great, aren't I? Yes, you're very great. Mm. Why 
do we do this? Why do we, we insist on doing things that we know are mistakes? And even though all the people around us who love us are telling us that it's a mistake, we just go ahead and do it anyway. A lot of reasons, like we're human. A human, self-destructive. Buzz, I'm talking about a mistake so big that it doesn't go away just because you want it to. You fix that. Your involvement in this book thing is over, okay? It's over. Trust me. Do you even know you're doing that? Doing what, honey? All the time we've been sitting here, you've been hanging on to that locket. Oh. It's a nervous twitch, I guess. It's a picture of your daughter, and you're missing her. I am missing her. You looked at the picture, and touching the picture makes you feel closer to your daughter. Yes, it does. Uh-huh. And you're a little shaky now, and it'd be nice to have Drew around, wouldn't it? There's no big mystery there. Well, great. So then, call her. It's my dime. Your dime. We're not gonna have a dime if we don't feed some of these people here now. You have made me feel better, okay? Yay, thank you. Go back to work. Let's run a restaurant here. Okay. Welcome to Comfort. Good afternoon. Selena is, is it? Blake, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, no. Are you in there on purpose? Honey? You can come out now. Can't. Scared. Is this about Selena and the computer and the murder? Oh, my God! Oh, so, Selena didn't take my computer. Somebody else did. Would you be willing to move to Nevada? No. What were you saying about being scared? I'm scared. I am scared about Selena and this book. What about it? Oh. Oh. It's bad, Ross. This is bad. How bad? As bad as it gets. Blake, what is this about? It's about... What Selena told me, boy, she gave it to me. Oh, God, help me. God, help me. Would you please tell me? You know that the heroine in my book is based on Selena's life, right? Right. Well, Selena had a lover who was beaten to death in a hotel room. A criminal. Only not just any criminal. What Selena described to me was the real-life murder of Miguel Santos, as in... Mob killing. Execution. Oh, my God. I just thought he was this small-time criminal, you know, this run-of-the-mill bad guy. But no, he has to be this big, dead mobster. Selena knew Miguel Santos? Yes, that's why she was so furious at me for shouting my mouth off at Riva's show. Only, I didn't know I was doing it, because up until now, I didn't know who he was. And it wasn't like I didn't ask. I mean, I begged her to tell me the truth just so something like this wouldn't happen. It's okay, isn't it? I mean, it's not like the mob watches Reva's show or anything like that. The mob is made up of people. Yeah, but it's like they don't watch her show. Why the hell wouldn't they? Oh, God, I'm in so much trouble. Long. Well, perhaps the rabbit is pleading for its life. No, I'm serious. You know, it's just a simple pregnancy test. Maybe something's wrong. Maybe I should take the test over. Ma again. Maybe we should just try to be patient, darling. Yeah. All right, I tell you what. Why don't we go over the names? Hmm? Okay. Did you come up with any? Yes, I have. Uh, all right. First one. Percival. Huh? Oh? Percival. It goes all the way back to King Arthur's time. Percival was the one who sought the Holy Grail. 
Well, that, that's a lot to live up to. Any others? Yes, uh, quite a few, actually. Okay, um, Cornelius. There you go, Cornelius, uh, after my cousin, Cornelius. Okay, um, Beresford, there you go. I always like that one, Beresford, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar the Grouch? No, Oscar was my, was my great-great-grandfather. I suppose he was a bit of a grouch. Uh, okay, not Oscar, not Cornelius, not... But we still have Bertram, Prescott, and Seabert. Now, that's if it's a boy. Now, if it's a girl, of course. Are you serious? Well, I'll have you know that those are all traditional Winslow family names. Well, the tradition stops here. Fine. If we have a boy, we'll call him uh, Dutch. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay. Well, doctor? Well, if you'll just uh, take a seat here, we'll get some... Okay. I'm oh. sorry. I, I'm all <laughs> thumbs today. <laughs> okay. Is this your, uh, your wife and your daughter? Oh. Yes. Oh, they're lovely. Beautiful. So I, I guess you can understand why we're anxious to start a family of our own. And not just to, you know, produce an heir, but... Well, because family is... Well, it's all about love, isn't it? Yes. I know exactly what you're saying. All right. Well, Doctor, <laughs> is she or is she not? I am. Well, All right. I am. I know I am. <laughs> as you know, I haven't yet sent the blood work to the lab, but... But I think it's fairly safe to say that... Excuse me. the moment thing. We were wondering if you could join us for drinks. I hope we're not disturbing you, darling, but the prince suggested we drop by and invite you to tea. What a surprise. Richard! <laughs> Cassie, I'm so uh, utterly... I wouldn't have dreamed of barging in if I knew the doctor had patients. And such important patients. Your Highness, Your Grace. Please excuse the intrusion. Oh, no, no, no intrusion at all, really. Uh, well, Edmund, you sure do get around. I beg your pardon? I didn't know that you knew Dr. Weymouth so well. Oh, we go way back. I've known Harry and his lovely family for years. But enough. I refuse to interrupt any further. I'm sure you're in the middle of something very important. Well, actually, we, we were sort of, say, mm. if you wouldn't mind. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not at all. Well, it looks as if it's just going to be the two of us, Pookie, but we have so much to catch up on, shall we? <laughs> Another time, Harry. Of course. Oh, rats. What is it? I have an important call to make. It's a matter of state, and I've quite forgotten to do it. Would you mind terribly if I met you in the car? Of course not. Take as much time as you need. Aren't you gracious? <laughs> Okay, Doctor, I cannot wait another second. <laughs> Am I pregnant or not? <laughs> well, the facts are that my tests indicate that you're... Yes? <laughs> not pregnant. For the moment. But that's impossible. I'm sorry. This doesn't make any sense. I am so sorry. But I was so sure. It's all right, darling. I'm sure. It's all right. Slow down. Now sit. This may not be as bad as you think it is. Okay, could you say will not be? as bad? Really, because I have these visions of me lying at the bottom of a lake with fish swimming out of my it? mouth. Stop it. Nobody wants to kill you. Why would they? Because maybe they think that I might have something to do with Miguel Santos' death. But you didn't. Yeah, well, who's going to tell him? Look, you can't assume that anybody in the Santos family has put this together. You were researching a book, a book of fiction. Which was based on a true story. Yeah, that true story was in the public record. As far as anybody knows, you were appropriating the facts to turn them into fiction. Right. 
Right. Now, that's what Selena said to say, that I, I just went to the library and I, I dug up old research, old microfilm, and it, just on Miguel Santos. Yes, as any writer would. Any writer. Yeah, any writer. Now, the important thing to do right now is to just act as if nothing is wrong and don't draw attention to yourself. Oh, well, I have the perfect way of doing that. But... I'm just never going to leave this room. Do you understand what I just told you? Ross, I don't want to die, okay? No, I have nobody, three children no, to raise. Nobody's going to die. You are not going to die. All you have to do is behave normally. Could you just remind me of what that means? On second thought, you behaving normally might be a little suspicious. I'm just kidding. Relax, honey. Live your life the way you always do, okay? And I want you to start by going to this. Hmm. You want me to go to the opening of Danny's Supper Club? Mm -hmm. As in Danny Santos? As in going into the lion's den? As in demonstrating to them you couldn't possibly have the information they suspect. That anyone who did wouldn't be so stupid as to show up at this event. That is ridiculous. Wait a minute. That's a good idea. Key is stupid. Blake, what are you doing? Okay, okay. What I need to do is appear as harmlessly stupid to them as possible, okay? Stupid, as in, I couldn't I possibly figure out what I'm actually writing about. I mean, stupid, as in, uh, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm writing about. Stupid as in, what do you think? No, not dumb enough. Blake, Blake, believe me, you couldn't possibly look stupid. Oh, don't say that. I have to look stupid, stupid, stupid as in, uh, I don't know, what do you think, what do you think? Does this look like out to lunch? Oh no, wait a minute, it still has lunch on it. Honey, how many dresses do you own? I don't know dozens why. I'm just trying to determine how big my drink should be. We have some very nice specials today. Um, the, 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 they're printed on the inside of the menu on a separate card, and I'll have your waitress come over to you shortly. Don't go. Mm -hmm. We wish to order. Okay, what would you like to have? Would you like a couple more minutes? I'll have the uh, filet mignon. And how would you like that done? Bloody. With uh, french fries, rings, and a side of spaghetti. Oh my goodness. And for madame? Espresso. Espresso. Very well. Put this in. And a coleslaw, chocolate cake, and a knife. And a knife. Sharp. Right. For my steak. Right. Mm -hmm. What a lovely latte. Oh, thank you. It reminds me of one my own mother gave me when I was a girl. Really? Well, I've had this for years. I found it in a, in a pawn shop in Boston. I remember mine so vividly. It was in our family for years and years. I've always wondered whatever happened to it. Oh, I'm, I'm certain it didn't wind up in a pawn shop. Are you certain that's where it came from? I'm very sure. I better put your order in now. I'm really hungry. Eat fast. We have business. One second. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. 
I just, I gotta, I'm almost done. I gotta finish this, this guest list. Oh. oh. Hi. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you, do you know how beautiful you are? I know, but will it sell cigarettes? <laughs> Sweetheart, whatever you are selling, I am buying. Let me see the goods. These are filters, mm. non-filtered. And right here we have menthols. <clears throat> and over here... We have a few European Hold brands. On Hold on. Told you I'd hook you up with some Cubans, didn't I? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. These are so incredible. Yeah, they're also incredibly illegal. So be discreet, okay? I will only sell them to my very best customers. Okay. You know, the ones that arch their eyebrows like Gary Cooper and ask if we have any special blends? Well. Just make sure they're not wearing any special badges. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right. Let's, um, uh, let's hear it. What? Your spiel. Your, uh, your routine. Your, oh, your pitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cigar. Um. Cigarettes, cigarillos. Mmm, cigarillos. Okay, I'll try it again. Mm -hmm. Cigars, cigarettes, cigarillos. 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 You got it? Hey, wash my mouth. Here, let's get this out of the way. You got it? All right, let's get this out of the way. You gotta, you gotta roll your, your L's. Watch my lips, watch. Cigarillos. 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 Rios, Rios. You gotta, you gotta use your tongue. Why didn't you say so? This doesn't make any sense. I am, I feel so pregnant. Are you sure the wasn't some mistake, or you you could have made an error or something, yeah. no? Well, no test is perfect. I will continue with the blood work, of course. So there's a chance I may be pregnant. It's highly unlikely. For the moment. But that doesn't mean that you won't be in the very near future. It's established that there's no reason that you can't have as many children as you want. I had the measles, and they thought that I might not Cassie, be. Cassie, fine, we know that. But I wanted this now. Richard. I just wanted so badly to give you a child. And I've gotten your hopes up and... I'll give you two a moment alone. Hey. Listen, I don't... I don't want you feeling any guilt here at all. Do you understand me? This is just a letdown. I understand how you feel. I was just as excited as you were. You know that. It's not over. You heard the doctor. We can still have children. You know, we can have all the children we want. It just doesn't make any sense, you know. I just feel pregnant, and it feels right. It just feels so right.
are, Minovia. I love you, you know that, don't you? Ah, uh, you say, le gusta hablar de amor. Eso es todo. Eso es todo. Eso es todo. You like to talk of love, Miguel. That's all. And I say, too bad. No escape. I will never let you go. Hey, let's go. Time to get ready. Ready? Ready? What for? Danny's opening. We got about oh. like 30 minutes to get dressed. You, Sweetie. You don't want to go. No. You can't imagine how much I really, really don't want to go there. Let's elope instead. Back so soon? Where's Danny? He's in his office, so what's up? What happened? I went to Selena's restaurant. Did you learn anything? She wears a locket. I want you to get it for me. Consider it done. Whatever it takes, I'll wait up. Cigarettes. Cigarillo. Mm -hmm. Cigarillos. <laughs> All right, okay. You can you can save it for the customers. It won't matter what you say. <laughs> or how you say it. Come on. We're gonna, we're gonna open up soon. Just get you back in this. Now? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No. Back when you got this. Yeah, turn around. This yeah, please. Yeah. This is it? Yeah, this is it. Kitty, <gasps> really, I'm so excited. Yeah, good. What if I faint or something? You're not gonna faint. You're not gonna faint. <sighs> Do I look okay? Please. You are gonna dazzle them. <sighs> Break a leg. What? That's what we say in show business for good luck. Okay. Well, luck or no luck, let's show them a hell of a good time. <laughs> let's rock and roll. I listened to your performance, Doctor. It was brilliant. And just so you know, I'm not a tyrant. I don't want your money. Oh, keep it. I'm sure you'll need it for books and supplies and so forth. Books and supplies? I know you're very concerned about your daughter getting into a certain prestigious American university. Your lovely wife told me all about it over drinks. Well, consider it done. I don't want to pay off from you. I want you out of my life. The princess is pregnant. She deserves to know it. I came this close to telling them. This close. But you didn't. Only because you're blackmailing me. It's such a large concept in exchange for such a little lie. There is nothing little about this. You should have seen their faces. They were devastated. I hated deceiving them like that. Sorry to hear that. Which means you probably are going to hate the second part of our collaboration even more. Uh, yeah, I know. Hey, why don't we, uh, why don't we take the Royal Yacht for a spin around the harbor? I can show you that private beach I've always been meaning to show you. It's kind of chilly out. You know, Tammy was mentioning that she wanted to go horseback riding. Why don't, why don't we go horseback riding? It's really late in the day for that. You know, hey, darling, I know. But why don't we just, you know, stay home? We can order a movie in, an American movie. And uh, you don't think that's a good idea either. I know you're trying to cheer me up. 
on, you know. We're going to be fine. You know, the, uh, the sky hasn't fallen. I know, and I'm sorry that I'm overreacting. And I know we're going to have children someday. I just wanted today to be someday. Yes, it still could be. You heard the doctor, you know, all the tests are not in. Richard. He said it was highly unlikely, so that means I'm not pregnant. So. Yes. Excuse me, Your Highness. Telephone call. Oh, uh, take a message, John. Um, no, no, no. Take it. I'll be fine. Who is it? It's Dr. Weymouth. All oh, right, all right. Um, thank you. Hello, Dr. Weymouth. I'm sorry to interrupt, but in light of what happened today, I would like to schedule another appointment. By all means, I'll get Cassie and... No, sir. I meant with you. There's something we should discuss. Uh, I see. The sooner the better, if that's all right with you. Certainly. Guiding Light.